On Volvo's old B18 and B20 engines, the exhaust was right under the intake. So the carbs can have a fuel heating issue. To combat it, they use these heat shields right behind the carburetors, but that means that you need a second paper gasket to seal it. And of course, my carburetor rebuild kit for the Strombergs doesn't have one. So what's a guy to do? So the gasket on both sides is square and it just leaves this kind of impression based on the metal that's pressing into it. So the rebuild kit comes with this one. It does look like it's a match. So I'm gonna use this one as my template. The quickest way to get a template drawn is to scan it. Once I had it scanned, I pulled the image into my vector drawing software. And fortunately, because this is a very simple shape, I could just pull simple rounded corner squares and circles to trace the outline. If it was a little bit more complicated, I probably would have had to use a pen tool and draw each of the shapes. Uh, but the whole process from scanning it into the software and drawing it probably took about five minutes. I sped up the video so you could get a sense of what I was doing. And as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. It can be used for a lot of different uh, shapes of gaskets and different applications. Uh, as long as the gas Basket materials compatible with the next part of the process. Here's my laser cut cardboard test, and here's my one out of the kit. It looks like it should be a pretty good match. I bought this a while ago because I was having trouble finding a couple of gaskets and I figured I'd figure out how to, to cut it out or whatever. It seems to be a pretty efficient way to do it, but I'm going to actually try it in the laser cutter. Hopefully it's not too flammable. But before I throw it straight into the laser cutter, there's a few things I need to take care of. The first and most obvious is that it's all curled up. It's been stored in a roll for who knows how long, so it's going to kind of take this shape. So I need to flatten it out. The second thing is we call it a paper gasket, but it's not just paper. It's actually coated in some sort of material and it's proprietary so I don't really know what it is. Uh, it will absorb moisture just sitting there so I want to drive as much moisture away as possible so that it doesn't steam in the laser cutter and it will stay flat. Third and final thing is because we don't really know what it is I want to heat test it so that if I heat it up in the laser cutter it doesn't melt or warp and the best way to do all three of those things is in this press. I picked it up at an estate sale for a photographer who used to mount black and white photographs to, to card stocks. I think it was originally designed to set inks and fabric. Uh, I keep it at the lowest setting so it doesn't get too hot and doesn't damage the lignin in the paper. So lignin is what keeps it stiff and if you get it too hot it becomes brittle and you can break the fibers. So in this case I don't want it to get over 200 degrees Fahrenheit over boiling temperature so I'm going to press it for a few seconds then check to see where I got. So right off the bat, you can tell that it's nice and flat. Checking the temperature, it got up to 193.5, at least the press did, so it didn't get too hot, so I know I didn't damage the lignans. Now I'm gonna stick it under this board for a second just to cool it off to make sure that it stays flat. So now I got my flat gasket material. Uh, it looks like it's gonna stay flat. I have heat tested it. It doesn't seem to warp or melt very easily, which seems reasonable for a gasket. I'm going to cut one out just as a test and just as a safety precaution, I have the fire extinguisher in case it completely bursts into flames. So this is try number two. I've upped the power settings the first time it didn't cut through. The paper product is probably impregnated with something that's designed not to burn, so uh, the laser cutter is having a hard time getting through. I bumped up the settings one more time. That last one barely was getting through. So this one, just a few percentages points higher and uh, should cut all the way through. And I'll have my good gasket for the third one. The other risk factor of cutting unknown materials is that that smoke that was shooting off could be super toxic. That's why I'm letting it clear out a little bit and I'm standing back as I open it up. That one looks pretty good. So I'll take that out, get away from these fumes. You can kind of see with the light passing through it, the laser cutter didn't quite cut all the way through. In the engine bay now, uh, I have my gasket out of the kit. I think I'll put that on the intake side, so look at that. And I have my laser cut. Felpro gasket. I'll put that on the carb side. So I have my full sandwich. 
again, just a dry fit, just to make sure that everything's flat and it's gonna line up well and press well. I like that I was able to do that really well without actually having to go order something new.